G'day guys, my name's Alrad Taz, bleak, cold, winter's day in Tasmania, but uh, we're out and we're doing some work on Gilby, the budget bob build, and today, not even sure I like what I'm going to be doing, but we'll put it on and see how it goes, and we're going to put a windshield over the light here, and this is an eBay buy, it's a fly screen, and ultimately I bought it for the XVS 1100 project and never ended up using it so I've patinaed it and we're gonna put it on Gilby and see how it looks these are black or clear when you buy them and because uh, Izzy is a black bike I bought a black one and what I've done is I've sprayed it with primer let it dry sprayed it with chrome paint let it dry sprayed it with some red paint let it dry uh, sprayed it with another layer of red paint and I threw dirt at it to give it a textured feel and then let it dry and then I sprayed it with clear and let it dry and then I took to it with some sandpaper and a flappy paddle on the Dremel to just sand through all those different layers and give it a somewhat textured patina look and as far as it goes I'm pretty happy with that I'm just not sure how it's going to look on Gilby once it's installed it's not actually designed for this bike so it's going to be a little bit of faffing around to get it to fit but we'll give it a go and see how it looks first thing is I have to get rid of some cable ties that's holding some cables the second thing get these legs on all comes as a kit So guys, there is the fly screen installed. Uh, you can see the textured patina look that I managed to achieve through several layers of paint and sanding. On the seat, there it is there. You can see that you'd be able to get right down behind it and it'd deflect the wind up over your head. And on the previous XV I had, you did get a noticeable increase in top end performance by hiding behind a screen similar to that. Uh, yeah, not much more to say really. Not sure if I like it, not sure if it's going to stay. 
but if you're doing some long distance touring on the XV that could certainly be handy in keeping the wind off your chest uh, yeah I don't know Guys, take two. I did like the look of the windshield, but I didn't like the fact that I'd matted down the paint so heavily that it looked pink rather than red to match the body. So I've resprayed it, just given it a Quick coat of red and then black on the back and I'm a bit happy with that I think it's gonna suit the bike a bit better and fit in with the style that I'm going for so same windshield just slightly different style and patina just give me a sec I'll get Gibby out and we'll put him back on that is the fly screen remodel as you can probably tell from the tone of my voice I wasn't real happy with it previously so I've gone and re-sprayed it red and it's black on the back I've patented it using the same technique as I did the side covers and the same paint as the side covers so it tends to match in just a little bit better uh, jumping on the bike there is the back, it's black, it blends in hopefully with the uh, foot pegs, the kickstand, the seat, the switch blocks etc. Uh, just all the accents on this bike are black so it just made more sense to have the back of the windscreen black. Uh, also hopefully I won't get as much reflection and it'll act as a little bit of a sunglasser effect as I'm riding because I'm not getting light reflected off yeah so realistically again that's all there is to it I'm much happier with that still not a hundred percent sure I like it but I'm certainly more happy with where it's at now than what I was previously so guys I will see you next time my name's Ira Taz I am out